Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Well, this has been a long time since I've made a video. I thought I would make another update. In my last video, I said that I wanted to make a lot more sort of smaller bloggy slash vloggy, 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 smaller slash vloggy style videos. And I know that's not what everyone here likes, but it's all I have time to make at the moment. So I thought I would make an update and just say hello to everyone who thinks that I've died. I haven't died. I'm still here. And yes, I have legitimately been asked that question. Um, yeah, let's, let's talk about what's happened. Um, well, I, in my spare time recently, uh, and I will get to where the tutorials are, what's happened with those, what's happening with those, if anything, towards the middle to later of the video, but this is just an, an update of everything. So, um, I started learning Japanese again. When I was like 20 years old, I, I did some uh, lessons with a tutor we went through um, a book called uh, Mino no Nihongo, which is a, a great textbook. I started with uh, Genki again. This is another textbook. And I've made my way through the first book now and partially through the second book. So uh, I've continued with my Japanese studies, which is awesome. Um, like I said earlier, I did mention in a previous video that I wanted to make more updates, regular updates, you know, just about what's happening in life, uh, cooking, as I'm sure some of you absolutely love. I'm just kidding. I know some of you hate that. I'm sorry. Um, and other general topics. Um, a reason why there has been not so many tutorials coming out of RM2GetEv lately is that I started a new job at the same company, which is essentially the same job with more stuff to do. Um, long story short, I'm not going to go into details about where I work and, and what I do. It's all a mysterious mystery, but essentially my new job demands a lot more of my time. Um, I have far higher responsibilities than I used to have. And I'm sure as you guys all know, I take great pride in what I do. I, I wanted to give my work more attention than I was giving it and so I had to slow down on the long recordings and editing videos which I used to do in my spare time um, and focus on work. Now obviously with the new job and higher stress levels and all that sort of stuff I, I, I try to take my downtime now as a little bit more personal time rather than sort of working from 9am to 5pm then making YouTube videos from 5 p.m. till 9 p.m., spending an hour with my wife and then going to bed. Um, that, you know, that sort of lifestyle doesn't really work when you're in a, a, a job that, you know, has far higher responsibilities and requirements than the last job did. And that's, you know, that, that leads me to where the tutorials are, I guess. Um, you know, the age-old question, when's the next tutorial coming out? Um... And like I said, as you know, um, I am a software engineer by trade. That's my passion, teaching you all and sharing what I know was always and still is a rewarding experience for me. Um, there was a little bit of, you know, hate and negativity that came from all of it, but you know, that uh, tends to come with YouTube. And you know what, fuck those people. They can just uh, go away. The rest of you are freaking awesome. And I love having, you know, you guys here as a, audience just so you know I still do come back and read almost every single comment that comes through I don't have time to reply to all of them um, like I used to back when I had you know 2,000 subscribers it, my god it's grown to 40 something thousand subscribers now I can't believe it that is absolutely insane hello to all of the new people out there who are joining us for the first time or have recently joined us, I really do hope you've enjoyed the tutorials that we made together over the last few years. Um, where are the new tutorials then? Um, well, like I said, you know, it's a new job, a lot of different stuff going on. Will I make new tutorials in the future? I hope so. I, I really enjoyed making tutorials. Um, there's new products coming out. I, I don't know if we can talk about them yet. I think the demo for a new version of Game Maker recently came out. Uh, Unity's made like a stack of updates that I just I want to get my hands onto and start playing with again. You know, so new tutorials will come out sporadically here and there. I'm not stopping. I never have stopped. I've always still been here reading comments and replying to people. 
um, especially the people you know that I remember from the early days when I first started doing this and my videos were extremely awkward I, I still remember that it was like hi my name is Ryan and I will be teaching you how to make a game and I'm sure you've all seen the video that I'm talking about it's uh, one of the first game maker videos that I made it was absolutely awkward and weird and uh, it was good fun um, what else um, oh update for all the gamers out there I finished Persona 4 in my spare time and oh my freaking god that game if you have not played it go and play that game it is amazing it is my new favorite game of all time um, rivaling equaling and this is going to piss a lot of Final Fantasy fans off but I personally find that game to be almost as good as Final Fantasy 7 and that is a lot. And now I never played Final Fantasy 7. Okay, now here we go. I can't say that, you know, Persona 4 is as good as Final Fantasy 7 and then tell you that I haven't played Final Fantasy 7. That is not true at all. Um, I hadn't played Final Fantasy 7. Then earlier this year, 2016, I think around uh, January, around March, March time, March, April, I, I played through Final Fantasy 7 for the very first time in my life. And my God, what a game. I missed out on that completely when I was a kid. I saw that beginning bombing mission. I was like, I'm not interested in this. This is crap. And uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Won't be making that again. Um, I played it. Fantastic game. Holy crap. Then I played through Persona 4. Holy crap. Another amazing game. So anyway, if you haven't played either of those two games, highly recommended coming from me. Go play them. I think the rest of the world speaks with me on this they're, they're speaking before me as well amazing series you've got to play it um other things that have happened in my life since i made the last video um we adopted two new dogs i'm not sure if you if any of you remember we we, we had a little white shih tzu um his name was toto he passed away at the end of 2015 which was really sad for you know myself and my family um and then, you know, as we were moving on from that, we we found our house was a little too quiet, so we adopted uh, another dog. His name was Cooper. He's become, you know, our absolute best friend in the whole world. He's a great dog. And then um, he was a little lonely, you know, because we had just the one dog, and I work from, uh, you know, I, I work in the area, so I'm always around. Um, but he got a little bit lonely, so we adopted another dog, and his name is Bobby. He's a little white. We actually don't know what he is because he was a, a rescue dog, and they didn't know what he was either. So, um, but we adopted him as well, and yeah, he's he's a beautiful little dog as well. Makes a lot of noise. Still a good boy. Um, so yeah, we adopted dogs. Um, <clears throat> we finished games. We um, oh jeez, oh the most important thing of all that. I think if anyone follows me on Twitter, you've probably seen me making posts about uh, various games and, and titles that I've had coming in randomly and sporadically throughout the year. I started game collecting. I got so sick of these fucking digital games coming from Sony and Nintendo. Now, I don't know what it's like on the other side of the world. Maybe it's not as bad as it seems. But here in Australia, my God, these companies are trying to screw you left right and center I uh, long story short I bought a second-hand Nintendo second-hand new Nintendo 3DS worst naming possible come on Nintendo pick your game up um, I wanted to get my account from one 3DS to the other and they were basically like no you can't do that and I'm like why not and we got into this whole argument over the phone about it and eventually that just sort of tipped me over this decision that you know my games are locked to a console because of Nintendo's crappy mistakes I'm not complaining I've already made a complaint video ages ago about how much I hate the 3ds and its ecosystem um, but that was sort of just the tipping point I was just like I am pissed off about this now I don't want digital games I'm not going to give you my money for stuff that I don't own that I can't give to my children when I die that it's just it's just gone it's just money that you give for nothing you you get okay you're getting software in exchange for it um that's fine and everything but i remember when these digital platforms started to get popular 
I remember when Steam came out. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if, if everyone here is of that age. I'm sure most of you are. Some of you may be. I remember the sales pitches coming from Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, Steam about the benefits of digital distribution. The benefits were that you didn't have to pay shipping and handling. You didn't have a truck carrying the game to and fro between stores, between warehouses. You didn't have to pay printing. You didn't have to print a manual. You didn't have to buy a disc or physical cartridge medium and store the information on it. You didn't have to print the images on the disc and do the actual data impressions on the data side of the CD. None of that existed and so you eliminated three quarters of your of your wholesale cost in producing these titles and then that was the benefit you know that was awesome because you go to like a, a store like eb games or gamestop as you know the us calls it or game as it's called in i don't even think game is the same company but i know the uk has a store called game you go to these stores and the game is like 99 dollars, maybe 120 dollars for the digital deluxe version um and that, that's fine and everything. And then back in the old day, you used to jump on the PlayStation Network and it was $60. You had a massive benefit for purchasing a digital game. Nowadays, it's more expensive to buy the game digitally than it is to go to the store and purchase the game. And I'm not even talking about pre-owns. I was looking at Call of Duty Infinite Warfare um, on the Australian PlayStation Network store and it was like 99 Australian dollars for the base version. And then I went to um, uh, Big W. We got a store here called Big W. It's a uh, logo is like a giant W for anyone who doesn't know the store. But anyway, it was like sixty dollars in store, and you're getting the game and the disc and the manual. Not the manual, but you're getting the little slip of paper that they had to print in there. You get more for your money that you actually get to keep and give to someone. You give it to a friend. You sell it for your money back later. You, you don't have it tied to an account that when you get banned because you made your account when you were 17 and Sony doesn't like the fact that you were underage when you made it, that you get banned and then it's gone? Like, digital distribution has gone down the fucking shithole. Uh, pardon the French, but geez louise. Um, anyway, rant ending. This was supposed to be an update video about what's happening. But anyway, I started collecting digital... <laughs> no, I didn't start collecting digital games. I started collecting physical copies of games. I've grown a an awesome collection of PlayStation Vita titles, um, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I've, I've went back and started to get the original Persona games. I'm still looking for PS1 copies of those games. Um, that has been an amazing hobby. You know, my wife and I, we've been going out to swap meets on the weekend looking, you know, to see if people are selling old consoles that, you know, they, they want to get rid of and they bring them to the swap meets. You find some amazing deals at those places. It's getting a little bit harder nowadays, you know, because everyone's connected to the internet and they know what things are worth, and that's understandable. You know, if someone's got a game that's worth $100 and they're selling it for $5 at a garage sale, you don't steal from them. You tell them, hey, this title, it's worth a bit more than what you're selling it for. You know, are you okay with that? And they say, well, how much? And you say, well, look it up. But, um... 99% of the time, if you're honest with people, they'll be they'll do right by you and they'll get they'll sell it to you for what they were asking for. They don't really care. Um, but geez Louise, the the competition in this uh, or in Australia at least is 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 quite large to say the least. There's people out there that are you know ruthlessly jumping down everyone else's throats just to race them across the streets and get to people's houses to pick up games before other people. Drama alert needs to pick that up anyway um so yeah i guess that has been an update of what's happened over the last few months um holy crap pokemon sun and moon elephant in the room how did i not talk about that i'm sure everyone in the comment section below this video is playing that game right now my god i'm in love that is my new favorite pokemon game okay that's a lie red and blue and gold and silver are my favorite pokemon games but still that is a really good title x and y did not do it for me and you've probably seen my complaints about x and y omega ruby alpha sapphire with the frame rates in an earlier video where i was using my capture card to do some um i can't remember actually was i using my capture card no i think i was just um 
recording footage with a camera actually but the frame rate in those games bloody hell fix your game it's been like five years um three years two years some it's been a number of years and it's still not fixed sun and moon run beautifully 99 percent of the time there are circumstances where you've got like you know some giant freaking fire breathing totem pokemon you know and you've got another like third evolution pokemon with like f freaking like goku super saiyan energy waves coming off of its back and the 3ds struggles a little bit with that but you know it's it's forgivable in those type of situations but man that is a good game i am liking it a lot um anyway this video ran for like 10 minutes more than i wanted it to run for i've got i had a i had a clipboard of notes in front of me where i where i was reading from and just ignored those notes completely and started talking all sorts of nonsense but i hope you've enjoyed it and i wanted to come back and say hello to everyone because it has been a long time I'm not dead, I'm still here, I still read all of the comments, so before you go into the comment section and say, oh, that guy, oh, he knows nothing, <laughs> I'm still here reading it, so I will uh, reply to you, and most likely I will be rude back, because that's just my thing, as most of you probably know. I don't like to take any number of shit in the comment section, but it's all in good fun. Most of the time, if you see me replying like that to someone, I'm actually having a good time uh, trolling them, basically. <laughs> um, anyway, this has been an update on, uh, stuff and things. I hope to make another one soon, actually. Um, you know, I think that's what this channel may end up becoming in the short term until I find the time to make more serious videos about tutorials and game development. And I'm hoping to find that time over the next year or so. I'm not talking in a year, I'm talking over the next year. Um, my job is obviously not getting any easier. It, it won't. It's a fantastic place to work. I like what I do and I keep my focus there, but I will try and make more time to come back and make videos for the new engines that are coming out because I still play with them in my spare time as well. I, I haven't actually stopped game development. I've really just stopped um, streaming YouTubing, editing, that sort of thing. They're the things that take up the most time. Playing around in engines is, you know, that's just maintaining your skills and it's quite fun to do. Um, so yeah, please go ahead and leave any questions, comments, feedback, suggestions, things that you would like to ask me directly. Um, are you interested in, in hearing more about this game collection? Are you interested in seeing it even? Um, you know, are there any games that you think that I should add to my collection? Just so you know, I'm collecting, um, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, uh, Dreamcast, um, Xbox Classic, the original, you know, Xbox One, not O-N-E. Um, also collecting PS4 games. Uh, oh my god, there's some great JRPG stuff coming out from NIS, Atlas, Exceed, Marvelous, those type of companies for PlayStation 4. Um... Also collecting for uh, Game Boy, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega. Uh, I've got the Pokemon collection. I've almost completed that. It, I mean, for the handheld consoles, I've completed it. It looks amazing. If I get time, I'll edit a photo in. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything you think that I should add to the collection. If there's anything obscure, weird, and Japanese, that's my thing. Um, yeah. Otherwise, take care, everyone, and I will see you in the next video which hopefully won't be too long from now.